Hi, my name is uh, Lieutenant Bob Kearns. I'm with Seattle Fire Department and I work downtown on the fireboats. This is the fireboat Leshi. It's about 108 feet long, pumps about 20 to 22,000 gallons of water a minute, which is a little more than 10 times what a regular fire engine can do that you'd see on the, the street out here. Um, we're going to take a look on board today. Why don't you come on along and we'll show you around. We'll look down in the engine room first. Watch your step. Okay, this is the uh, engine room of the Fireboat Leshi. You can see we have all of the, uh, the main control panel here, which shows what the status is of all of the equipment in the engine room here. Um, we have four of these large MT 1500 horsepower MTU engines. Two of them, the two right here, are for pumping water from the body of water we're sitting in, so it'll draw water out and through the pumps and into this big fire main right here and then out through our, um, through our hose ports or through our deck cannons. So We also have the two MTU engines in the back. They're the uh, propulsion engines, and you'll see that they're kind of at a slant down towards the water a little bit. Uh, the shaft is attached to the back of those engines and the props attached to the very end of those, and that's what drives the boat. So We also have a, two uh, generators in the middle right here and using those allows us to generate electricity while we're underway and power all the equipment on board. Let's go take a look in the EMS room. Being out underway on the water we don't have access immediately to a hospital or to a medic, uh, medical facility so we might have to bring a patient on board and put them in uh, in, in our facility here, our medical room. We have just the same amount of equipment that the medics will have uh, so that we can address patients' medical needs. We can also warm them up if they've been in the water and help address the hypothermia. We can, we can handle a couple of patients in this space if we need to. So, Back to the equipment room. Just like any of the, uh, the other fire apparatus you see on the streets, we have a lot of the same equipment. These will probably look familiar there. There are SCBAs that you use in smoky atmospheres to protect your breathing. Um, we also have um, all the hand tools here, electrical equipment, anything you'd see on a regular fire apparatus, axes, shovels, pike poles. fire extinguishers, ladders, a whole assortment of different hose lines for attacking fire. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of specialized equipment specifically for the water environment. Uh, we have uh, specific fans, pumps, some uh, water rescue throw bags, nozzles, um, some of our dry suits in bags here for when we're operating in in wet, cold environments to help keep us dry and warm. So, yeah, the well, same you see on an engine or truck company. So, let's go take a look on the aft deck here. We also uh, have a couple of small boats that we can launch off the, the, the aft deck here. Um, the red boat here we use mostly for tending our boat operations, also for rescue if we happen to have a patient in the water, which we do on occasion. The aluminum boat over here we'll use for under pier operations and firefighting. As you can see the pier in back of us here has a lot of wood structure and on occasion we'll get a fire underneath those piers so we'll need to get underneath and operate a hose line. Uh, that boat allows us to kind of scrape up against the barnacle encrusted pilings and drag a hose line in there and, and get to the fire location. So, um, Also on the back deck is our crane which allows us access to vessels that are that are higher than we are. Also uh, we use it to lift heavy equipment on and off the boat if we need to. So sometimes these boats as well. So Why don't we walk up the back steps take a look in the wheelhouse. Right 
So this is the wheelhouse. As you can, if you take a look around here, fore and aft, you've got a great view of the surrounding waters around the boat, which allows our pilots to keep the boat and the crew on board safe, keeping the, the boat exactly where they want to. Um, also allows us a better vantage to see down onto the area that we're gonna be operating in. Um, you'll notice that the steering stations are just like, just like any other boats you've ever seen. The, uh, the wheel, the throttles, we have a radar there which allows us to see large distances and, and other vessels approaching. We have a chart plotter. But we also have steering stations on both sides of the wheelhouse. One over here, one over there, and also in the back of the wheelhouse. And that allows us to drive the boat from any vantage point that makes, makes sense for the situation we're in. Uh, for example, the, the, the rear st steering station there allows us to drive while we're taking a look down on the rear deck and launch, if we're launching small boats or working back there, allows the pilot to know how to keep us safe while he's still operating the boat and keeping it safe. So this is a, a pumping station. So our engineer can operate here. He can start the fire pumps, the ones you saw down in the engine room. He can maneuver the deck cannons out here and adjust them so he can put the water exactly where he wants. And uh, he can increase the engine speed so that he can pump more water or decrease it if he needs to shut the water down as well. So it can all be done from inside here and we can pump through any one of our seven uh, monitors. So back here on, is my station where I tend to operate, uh, where I have information that the, our dispatchers send us right here on the screen. We also have the ability to uh, look through an infrared camera and see any heat signatures or uh, that could either indicate a hot spot for fires or a person in the water that we're looking for and other and monitoring devices for hazardous materials as well. So that's about uh, the extent of the boat here. Hope you enjoyed your tour.